a superstitious quote used by traders to describe the summer months of trading. Sell in May and go away. But with Bitcoin right now being on its parabolic trajectory, rising over 100% and climbing out of the bear market, the question I have to ask is, is it truly sell in May and go away? Or is it actually buy in June and watch it moon? Let's get this crypto. <laughs> what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the parabolic action we're seeing right now. Are we gearing up for another parabolic leg to the upside? Or on the contrary, are we looking to complete this parabolic move with a retrace to the downside? Is it truly going to be sell in May and go away? Or buy in June and watch it moon? <laughs> and as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice, this is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll begin right here on the daily time frame with Bitcoin. And just so you understand and stick around, uh, I'm also going to cover the altcoin market and why I believe an altcoin season or rather an altcoin boom may be looming here in the shadows as well. But let's discuss Bitcoin first. So obviously, unless you live under a rock, uh, you're well aware that Bitcoin has been on an absolutely parabolic move. We wound up topping out right around an area that I would have expected. It fell just a little short of my ultimate target zone, right? Just ever so shy, ladies and gentlemen. My target zone was 8.5K, and we f we went up to about 8.4K, uh, and that's probably the factor of bots front running the orders in the book just before for that prior peak there that we had uh, in, in our last bullish rally, right? So right now, uh, we're seeing inverse parabola, right? And the fact of the matter is here, what goes up very fast can come down very fast. And just to make this very simple, the reason that it can come down just as fast as it went up is purely because we formed no type of consolidation or support along the way. So what happens now is that the free market has to create a support somewhere along this level. And unfortunately, uh, how parabolic trends usually tend to play out is that they come down just as fast as they went up and then try and find support somewhere, uh, you know, down below and then create a sustainable, healthy base to continue the upwards momentum. So right now here for Bitcoin, uh, we had our heinous, heinous drop, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that we all know. I actually want to go over to the futures chart right now. This is the Bitcoin CME futures chart here. And as I showed you on yesterday's stream, if you are subscribed here, we wound up filling the gap. As you can see, there is a huge wick all the way down to roughly 6,200 that filled this gap right here. Uh, and the, the fact of the matter is, is that right now, uh, we're either going to be in a spot where this is going to be the new support found here along the old level of support around 6,000 that we had prior to our capitulation down into the crypto abyss, or uh, we may be due for a little bit of a of an upwards moonshot right now. And let me explain, right? So there's two factors here, right? Just in case I wasn't clear. One, we're going to re retrace back down to where this wick was. And we're going to wind up looking to find tentative support in this region, which would be a 
clone of the support in this region back before we capitulated, or two, uh, now that we've wicked down to this level, we're going to wind up consolidating up at about the levels we're at now and look to rise higher. But this is where uh, I want to dive into the four hour chart now, okay? So I have this outlined here, guys. I did this before the stream started. Uh, and I want to show you here that I'm seeing a potential head and shoulders pattern playing out here on the four hour time frame. Clearly a left shoulder, clearly a head, and tentatively right now forming our right shoulder. We have the base here of our formation anywhere between 6800 and 6700. Uh, the way that head and shoulders patterns play out, they're bearish, right? So if the neckline, aka the support line down here, is broken, uh, per classical technical analysis theory, we could expect to see further downside, which in my opinion would not be out of the question here at all considering the amount of parabolic activity that we've had in the re recent past few weeks. Uh, to give some of this back would be absolutely normal in my opinion, and we're going to talk about the, t the tentative support ranges in just a moment if that is to break. But uh, just for right now, okay, so we showed this here on the four hour, and I'm sure the moon boys and trolls, oh, Kirby, well, you're just, you're just trying to find something bearish, Kirby, because you don't like Bitcoin, Kirby, yo! I love Bitcoin, James. I love Bitcoin, Joe. And I want to show you, just in case you think I'm pulling this out like a rabbit out of a hat, that this has happened in the past as well. And I've seen nearly an identical formation here. Uh, right here back in July 2018. Very similar, right? When we look at this, what happened here? Capitulation down from a support level. This looks just like the 6K region. A capitulation, ladies and gentlemen. Then a slow rise in a choppy zone, just like we had around 3,000 to 4,000. And then a parabolic rip, okay? This is all on the four hour time frame. And right here, we also formed a head and shoulders pattern broke the base, and then capitulated once again. Once again did it fall deep down into the crypto abyss for, let's see, a nearly 20% decline after breaking its structure. Now, if we scroll back here to where we are today, very similar parabolic rise coming out of the depths of the crypto abyss out of a choppy range into a parabolic rise. And what we see right here right now is that we are tentatively creating that same structure, right? So let's extrapolate. It was 18% after it broke its structure on the last one. Uh, and we'll use the bottom here. If we go down 18% to clone the last move, this would put us, ladies and gentlemen, right into our old consolidation range which to me is not uh, out of the cards by any stretch of the imagination, okay? So this would be parabolic up, parabolic down, and find consolidation and support back in this range. Now, to add some, some merit here, right? Because I don't want to just show you this uh, as a pattern. There needs to be confluence, right, ladies and gentlemen? Trading is all about finding multiple confluences with multiple indicators that show and build a case for your hypothesis to be valid, right? So for me right now, let's draw a, a Fibonacci here from the bottom of the bear market to the tentative top where we are at now. And I want to show you guys here that the two most popular Fibonacci retracement uh, lines when you are using the Fibonacci retracement tool is the 0.5 and the 0.618. The 0.618 is the golden ratio, ladies and gentlemen, and the 0.5 is very powerful as well. These just historically, mathematically, for whatever reason, markets love to pull back to these levels to retest as support and potentially continue a healthy uptrend. So right now we have a few factors working. One, we have our parabolic rise, which we all know uh, generally plays back down in parabolic fashion as well, right? To create a, a carrot or a crocodile tooth shaped formation. Uh, two, we have a tentative bearish head and shoulders pattern on the four hour time frame, which is an exact clone, in my opinion, of what we saw all the way back there in, in July of 2018, right? Uh, and right now, if we use our extrapolation of the same 
percentage drop that we had out of that formation that was almost, I mean, nearly identical in terms of a setup, we draw this down from the bottom of our break, down 18%, and this puts us, my friends, right in between the 0.5 and 0.618 Fibonacci. Now, I've shown you multiple confluences here that could suggest we could pull back to this region. And if you are, are wondering which regions these are, the 0.5 Fibonacci falls at about 57.50 and the 0.618 falls at about 51.30. So for me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's very possible, in my opinion, that one, we could fall back to the 0.382 Fibonacci, which if we, we look at this right here, is in complete confluence with our 6,000 support region, right? The, the 0.382, which is also another valid pullback metric, is at about 6,400. That to me would be very, very healthy if we just dropped to there and consolidated. Then, in my opinion, we could be due for some more parabolic action to the upside. Uh, if we purge through there, ladies and gentlemen, grandma's cookies and a bottle of yo-ho-ho, -ho, watch out below! we might see this thing drop all the way down to the 0.5 Fib or potentially to the 0.618 Fibonacci. Or, as we can see by our extrapolated number that we've used here in percentage terms of an 18% drop, just to mimic what we saw out of a very similar formation here uh, back in July 2018, this would land us somewhere right inside the middle of both of these levels. So for me, right now, if we use our price range tool here, I'm going to draw a price range from the 0.5 Fib to the 0.618 Fib. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, that is almost an 11% range where if the parabola is to continue to the downside now and we create that crocodile tooth formation, for me, it's going to be... Uh, looking for a tentative new support here on Bitcoin anywhere between 57.50 and 5150, and that is about a, an 11% range. Uh, and right now, ladies and gentlemen, th I hope that you see with the abundance of formations that we have here right now, uh, that there is a ton of trading opportunity here. There's going to be opportunity for bears to be shorting this thing, right? I know if, if the opportunity presents itself, I'm going to be, as these are heinous moves, ladies and gentlemen. Think about the potential gains here uh, for those shorting if we are to drop into this region. And on the contrary, think about it from a bullish perspective. If we are to fall back into this region, we still would be maintaining bullish structure, in my opinion, and we could be uh, on a healthy pullback here, waiting to create a parabolic staircase, looking to then continue our, our bull run here, uh, which in my opinion would be very, very healthy as well. Uh, just a lot of opportunity here, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, and, and as a full-time trader, uh, I keep you all updated in VIP with my trades in absolute real time. Uh, the thing is, right now, is that this, in my opinion, is the time to be maximizing uh, your opportunities right now. Uh, this is a time where volatility is extremely heavy in the market, uh, and there is a lot of opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen, as I've pointed out, both to the downside and to the upside here. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, is that you don't want to be getting caught like a deer in the headlights when these moves happen. Uh, you don't want to be missing opportunities when they happen. Uh, and I know that right now I'm glued to these charts 24-7, 365. I'm looking at all of these patterns, ladies and gentlemen, past patterns, present patterns, Fibonacci's, trend lines, parabola. Everything right now is stirring up in my pot. The recipe is cooking, ladies and gentlemen, and you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is looking to pounce like a puma on potentially life-changing opportunity in this market right here, right now. The fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, is that many people, they, they treat this market, it's like they're, they're trading in here like a chicken with their head cut off, right? The thing is, is that they don't really have a plan. They don't have a, a course of action. The market happens to them, right? Instead of them doing things that when the market happens, they're profiting, the market just happens to them. And then they want Don Don Carbonaccio's shoulder to cry on, oh, Kirby, I just got wrecked again. 
or, oh, Kirby, well, I missed the move. What do I do now, Kirby? What do I do now? The thing is, my friend, you just have to have a plan. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. Don Don Carbonaccio is keeping you all up to date with my plans in real time. I'm telling you, my friends, I post all of my plans, all of my strategies, all of my trades, all of my insights, everything that I'm seeing in this market, right? I can only do these analyses for you on stream here uh, once per day, right? And the, the fact of the matter is, is that in VIP, I'm keeping you updated 24-7, 365, around the clock. Every movement that I see potential opportunity that I'm striking upon, I post it for you, ladies and gentlemen. So if you do want all of that from me, that's what you get from me in VIP. So shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all new future VIPs that will be joining right after this video. The market is hot, the market is moving, and I'm ready to strike when I see these structures coming into formation here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be getting caught like a deer in the headlights and don't be missing out on opportunity. I'm looking to maximize my profits right now and I'm going to keep you all updated with my trades in real time. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you all in VIP right now right after this video sheesh but now i want to get into altcoin season ladies and gentlemen i said at the beginning of this video that altcoin season may potentially be right around the corner we're already seeing a lot of green in this market albeit yesterday we had an extremely red day but right now i'm seeing the makings of a potentially beautiful beautiful occurrence that may be ready to happen in this market and i'd like to share with you all my opinions on that but if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto, Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. And if you are already subscribed, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to tick the little bell. Seriously, click that little bell, it's important. You get these updates soon as I post them, all right? Now, let's go into the total crypto market cap excluding Bitcoin. What you're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is only the, the market cap of the altcoins. Bitcoin is not included here. So what we can see is that we broke through my resistance box, also following the same parabolic rise as Bitcoin, has now also began to form a crocodile tooth. But what's very interesting here is that we are forming a tentative support. This does not have to hold, but at the time of recording, we're looking to form a new support above our old resistance box. And if the fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, that we pull back here and consolidate, we could be ready for that next leg up into my target zone here. And my target zone, ladies and gentlemen, at a minimum, okay, this is just my target zone, at a minimum, is over a 27% move to the upside from the top of the resistance box that we're tentatively forming support on now. And the top of this box, ladies and gentlemen, is potentially almost a 50% move of the entire market to the upside. So when I see this, uh, and I'm thinking about coins that are going to get a lot of volume, uh, namely a lot of these top large market cap coins, if the whole altcoin market as a whole, ladies and gentlemen, is going to potentially move up almost 50%. The bulk of the capital goes into the large cap coins, right? That's just how it works. Especially that a lot of these large cap altcoins now are also being traded with margin and leverage. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm seeing in this market right now is that we may potentially be ready for a savage, savage altcoin season here. If we actually look at our moving averages here as well, we've had a distinct golden cross on the 50 and 100 day moving averages here as well for the altcoin market as a whole. And although, ladies and gentlemen, just like Bitcoin, if we use our Fibonacci retracement, uh, we, we could be looking for a pullback as well. But the promising thing for me, ladies and gentlemen, is that right now our moving averages are moving up in confluence. Our 50 is actually already over our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement and the 0.618 golden retracement, if we are to inverse parabola down, is already above our 200 and 100 MAs, right? The, the 100 MA is actually already above the 0.618 and the 200 is following in the footsteps. So right now, uh, for me, we're seeing a lot of bullish confluence come in here. 
But what you have to understand is that that bullish confluence from where we are right now is still roughly 20% to the downside. So it can be micro bearish here. Just like I showed you on Bitcoin, we do have all of those potentially bearish patterns uh, and confluences there that could potentially lead to short term micro bearish factors, right? Potentially forming a crocodile tooth. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that as this trend develops here, we're starting to get more and more bullish confluences at the lower levels. So if this market does pull back, I don't think that this is anywhere out of the, the realm of possibility for this to be just the last large correction before the potential moonshot. Uh, and I'm serious when I say that. I, what I'm seeing here right now is the potential for the final pullback before the absolute moonshot, the one that everyone's going to complain about that they missed. Uh, and the thing is, is right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, uh, I'm keeping my VIPs updated with my altcoin orders and plays as well. I've, I'm already setting up my orders and my strategies for multiple altcoins, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there are specific charts that I'm seeing here that look like the moonshot could be epic. Does that mean it has to be? Absolutely not. This is crypto. This is trading. Nothing is certain. But right now, Don Don Carbonaccio is keeping my VIPs updated with exclusive altcoin charts. All of my orders, my entries, my targets, my take profits, all of it. So if this boom occurs, I'm going to be looking to be dollar cost averaging into positions here. If we get a pullback and set myself up for massive success to buy here on the cheap, on the low, and even where we are right now, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, my strategies right now, I'm developing more and more by the hour. I'm looking to place entries where I see the potential to get in at the bottom of what could potentially be the start of a massive altcoin run here. Uh, of course, like I said, uh, nothing is guaranteed to happen, but from what I'm seeing here, it is a very, very large potential. And, and one last thing that I forgot to mention here, on the Bitcoin shorts chart right now, what we're also seeing is that we are back into our historic support range down here for the shorts, which could, again, it doesn't have to happen, but this may also be uh, a sign here that we could be due for some more shorts to enter the market and for the longs to wind up uh, getting squeezed, right? And that could lead to short-term bearish action as well. But if the short-term bearish action occurs, I think it may put us down, not only for the altcoins, but for Bitcoin as well, but I'm showing you the altcoin uh, market cap here. It could be the catalyst to give us that crocodile tooth down into the bullish confluence zone where I'm looking to fill up on my altcoin orders and prepare for the tentative rocket ship to the moon. Uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe there is massive opportunity in this market. Of course, once again, this is not financial advice. This is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. I'm not your financial advisor, and I'll never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk. What I'm telling you right now is that I'm gearing up for potentially one of the largest, largest opportune times that we've seen in years in this market, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you understand what I'm saying here today. Uh, it's mind-blowing what I'm seeing here. And I'm going to keep you updated in VIP. I've said it once, I'll say it twice. If you are not prepared to crush the market, you will likely pay the price. I'm going to be keeping you all updated in VIP with every entry here on my altcoins, every entry from me on Bitcoin, both short and long, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking to play the market in both directions. If it goes down, I'm looking to profit. If it goes up, I'm looking to profit. And I'm looking to crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can. Today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. No more playing around. The time is now, and I'm looking to strike like a cobra out of the grass. So I will see you all in VIP right after this video. 
I'm going to post everything for you. Like I said, I've already been posting a lot of my altcoin entries. Uh, I'm geared up, battle helmet on, mud boots, and the trench coat. I'm ready to get this crypto. Are you? Being said, guys, shout out to all my VIPs and shout out to all my new future VIPs that will be joining right now after this video. I'm excited to have you and I'm excited to see you in VIP. Let's get this crypto. Guys, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Uh, absolutely epic times here. Just so we all are on the same page again uh, with Bitcoin, I'm seeing multiple potentially short-term micro bearish things here, but uh, also we have a lot of bullish confluence at levels that we would love to see it. Uh, I'm preparing right now for one of the most epic opportunistic times that I believe could potentially hit this market uh, in the last several years. Uh, I'm ready to get it. I'm ready to get this crypto. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs and all new future VIPs joining right now after this video. I will see you there now. And until next time, my friends, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.